Welcome back, good friends. We got another Dark Souls playthrough going on. Uh, the Deathless attempt did not go so well, so I figured I'd dial it back and return to my skill level, and we'll just run through it again with probably a generic quality build. Not sure what weapon we'll be using. Maybe Claymore, maybe Zweihander, I don't know. Either way, let's get started. Yeah, the Deathless attempts might be a little above me at the moment. A little rusty with the Dark Souls. I haven't really played it since I put the playthrough up. I haven't played it before that in a long time. So maybe I need to be more practiced before I do that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, we'd like to have some more Dark Souls content on the channel. And Demon's Souls is not out yet, so this might be a good way to kill a few weeks before that happens. Anyways, I don't think that I've ever actually used a quality build in Dark Souls. I know, weird, right? That's the standard build that everybody goes for. Usually I play like pyro decks dudes. I like spears. I like fireballs. This time we might go with big swords. Not sure. I can never commit to anything. That's how we roll here. But you know what we can commit to? Fun. Maybe a little rage. Either way, we got a while before Demon's Souls comes out, before PS5, all that good stuff. So, this is what we'll do for now, I guess. You know, since uh, my Deathless run ended a little faster than I thought it would. Don't make fun of me. It can happen to anybody. Alright, uh, right into that arrow. It's a good start to the playthrough. At least this time when I die, I don't have to feel so bad about it. All right, you put your fancy long sword on there. Put your fancy heater shield. Good starting equipment here. We probably won't be using it very long, but you could. All right, you get the, the double Dark Souls combo there. The R1 spam. Not to be confused with the other Dark Souls combo, the shield block into R1 spam. They both work out very well. Right, don't get ran over by the boulder. Open this in case we want to do it later. Mosey on up in here and talk to our good friend Oscar. Alright, we gotta go. Yes, I would love to do whatever you said to do. Okay, see you later. Have a good one. Alright, you block this guy. That's the other coveted Dark Souls 2 combo. Not Dark Souls 2. God, I've ruined everything. I don't hate Dark Souls 2, like a lot of people do. It's just not as good as the rest of the series, okay? Now, you want to talk to me about Scholar of the First Sin? I think the original game is better. I don't like Scholar. I haven't really given it a fair chance, but I did play it a little bit, and I'm like, hey man, I would just prefer the original game. Now the DLC, I played a little bit of it. Not a lot, though. Anyways, uh, the playthrough will probably have a lot of rambling in it if you didn't catch that by now but yeah it's gonna be a great time for everyone all right you hit him with the plungy the wild camera has shown itself all right you move back slightly uh, well, I raced him, and I lost the race, but I won the battle. See that? A powerful dad word right there. Humanity, love to see it. All right, don't forget your little uh, pity souls over here. Soul of a lost undead, I do believe. It's not been long since I came through here. Alright, let's mosey on up here to Crow Town. Not watching crows. We're not watching cutscenes here. We're just moving through the game. You've seen these before anyway. Alright, do we hit with the level up? I do believe so, because I think I'm going to make a graveyard run. Even if I'm not going to use the Zweihander. I don't mind having it. So why wouldn't you, right? 
Anyway, it's either Zweihander or Claymore. And it might just be a Zweihander. Is that even how you say it? Pretty sure that's how you say it. If it's not, I don't feel too bad about it because I'm sure I pronounce it better than a lot of people do. Anyways, fancy soul up here. Don't remember what it is. Soul of a lost and undead. We'll take it. We'll love it. Not just like it. Love it. Now you gotta come through here. You gotta open all these treasure chests. Even though, like, really, you're only after the homeward bones. You still gotta open them all. That's how it works. Correct red eye orbs. Uh, this is gonna be an offline playthrough. In my old age, I think that's just how I prefer it. I don't even know how active the Switch community is, which is what I'm playing on. So we might not be missing out on much at all. What have I done? Okay. We might not be missing out on much at all. Either way, here it is. Okay. Unlike the last time I played the game, if we die here, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to try not to. I don't remember exactly where the big old sword is, but it's somewhere. How do you like that? You just keep pushing your run button. I do believe this is what we're looking for right here. Yep, that was quite a bit easier than I remember. Of course, I haven't done a run like that in a little bit. That was something, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I think I've tried to use the wing spear before. I just don't remember anything about it. You hit him with the run jump thing there. Now, there's another 200 soul down there, I think. But whatever. We're not that into that. The Zweihander takes like 20 strength to one hand, right? But significantly less to two hand. Either way, we're not concerned with that yet. We got a few more errands to do. Like any Dark Souls playthrough, we're going to hit you with the, uh, well, the Homeward Bones are coming first. But then we're going to go to New Londo. This time we're going to try not to die to the ghosts. And, uh, yeah. Little gap in, you know, conversation there. Got a little distracted. I was buffering, you know. That's what YouTube does. It buffers, so I can do it too. It's fair. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I kind of like the way this armor looks, actually. I'm used to using the uh, tattered cloth or whatever the hell it's called. Tat I don't even actually remember the name of it now. It's actually very good armor for, like, its weight. But we're not concerned with that, sir. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to do this without dying. Just to see if I can. I know that I've done it before. Let's go and get these fancy transient curses so we can carry them in our inventory forever. This guy wants some. Give it to him. Alright. Now, it might be a waste of a homeward bone. There are worse things in the world. I'm just going to see if I can do it. I know that I have. It might have been on a different patch. I don't know. You gotta hold your breath. That's the key to it. You gotta dodge this dude. Yeah, see, I, I knew that I could do it. I guess I was just a little slow last time. I don't know. That kind of sucks, but it's not a big deal. This means we can do this run instead now. We're going to go ahead and turn this big puppy in before I forget about it. I don't need to speak to you. I just need you to do this for me. Thank you. We're good friends now. Goodbye. I'll see you again later when somebody kills you or doesn't kill you. All right, back to elevator. We're gonna try not to die. Did I send it back up? Yes, I did. You know, most of the Dark Souls casual run-throughs start out about the same. You go get your cool, easy equipment with your master key, and then you head on down. We're gonna get us a grass crest shield. We're gonna try to get us a longbow. Maybe other stuff. 
don't recall actually what all I get after. Was this stuff up here? Maybe? No, I don't care. Whatever, let's go. Definitely, I'm not the most knowledgeable Dark Souls player in the world, nor the best, obviously. There are worse players than me, though. Maybe. Somewhere. Alright. Go through here. Rickety bridge. It never collapses, no matter what it looks like. Now you summon your inner Super Saiyan and dodge all these dragon breaths up here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this dude. Do we even need what he's got? Like, he has a 100% block shield, but do I actually need that block shield? I think we can grab one of these and get on going now. Alright, that's not what I wanted. Well, uh, channeled my inner Super Saiyan. I guess the one on, like, his left arm there is like the, the shield. Or maybe it's the, the bunch of souls. There's like a soul of a proud knight down there, too, I think. Whatever. Anyways, we didn't get what we wanted. We won't be using that. I don't necessarily need that shield. Because I'm just going to use the Grass Crash shield. Uh, usually I don't get hit by those. Huh. So I dodged the dragon to get hit by that. Sounds fair. Let's go ahead and dub her. Yeah, usually I don't have a problem with these dudes. That's fine. I'm surprised it didn't one-shot me. I guess uh, maybe this dude starts with more stamina points, I don't know. Alright. Let's check one. Are we going to kill the Black Knight? Well, we're going to grab the shield first. And we might try to kill the Knight. I don't think that I'm going to use the weapon if he does drop it. If I do kill him. Just because you can't rely on it. And I don't know. It's not speedrun. Who cares? The deathless attempt that went shockingly quickly reminded me that I should not be doing fancy stuff just yet. We can do the fancy stuff with Demon Souls. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, you can kick this man off. I know that you can do that. It happens. Is this going to work? I don't think it will. Well, surprisingly it did. Did not do that as cleanly as it could have been done. But I did do it, so I'm proud of myself. Alright, we are not going to fight Havel the Rock just yet. Although, I probably could kill him. I'm not going to stand there 10 minutes to backstab him and hope to not ever die. Alright, I think there's a Crystal Lizard up here. Might as well grab it if we can. I don't know if it has actual shards or what. Actually, maybe I'm crazy. I think it's further up, right? We can go get the Elite Knight armor right now, I think. I don't remember if I did that on the last playthrough or not, but I think we can just go ahead and do it. We do have a decent amount of souls from that knight, though. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, it probably will. It, I'm probably just going to coward out. Why are you not dead yet? Please die. Alright, those large shards will be good. Okay, yeah, I don't need whatever's up there, so let's go ahead and go. I've got what all I've needed to get started right now, I think. I don't imagine I can put this Y-Hander on just yet. Like I have no points in endurance. Let's go ahead and have a look at it, anyway. Weapons. Requires 24 strength and 10 dex. I might just use my longsword until I can actually just uh, do that. Let's level up. I should probably just put some more points in strength. Or endurance, rather. I don't know. Maybe I should just go ahead and use the Zwyander two-hand mode. Yeah, let's just do that. Whatever. I don't need to do it. It's probably just looking cool. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. Okay, you two-handed. Boom. 
Alright. So you just do the R2s basically, right? For the whole game. That's what people do. Is that really worth me to let's um You know, I'm just gonna use the long sword right now. It's safer. Not that we really need to be safer right now. Let's keep using the shield. But why not, right? Should I get this gesture from this dude? I completionist mode, we gotta get the gesture from the dude, okay? Just how it is. Hello, Okay, uh again. Oh, sir. Yes. Very well. I know that Okay, I pushed the wrong button. The curse of Dark Souls. It has risen. Oh my god, come on. Please, sir. Yes. Please let me join your covenant. It's only taken me like 15 years to do so. Alright, thank you. Uh, please learn gesture. Now, if I was a good player, I could go and kill uh, Pinwheel and get the Rod of Kindling and one of the masks. And I've done that before, but from what I experienced with my last point, little uh, side project, I don't know that I should do that. So we will probably kill Pinwheel before Analondo, maybe before Blottown. I don't know. Like you can kind of cheese it pretty easy with a summon. Okay, thank you. I would like to get. Well, I was going to say I'd like to get a Hollow Soldier Shield, but if I'm using Zwihanders, there's no point, really. You want to use, use the Grass Crest Shield with it. Typically, because you don't really block. Don't you die. Okay. Okay, the lock on cursed me for a second. Don't die again. Thank you. Uh, the lock on almost cursed me, friends. So we've already went further than my deathless attempt. So that's good, right? Let's see how long we can keep that streak up. Come over here and get this fancy soul. Now we're going to kill my favorite rat. Best rat in the game. It can drop humanity. Boom. Perfect. You know, I did forget to use my humanity. Usually I will use all of the humanity I have. Just for more drops. Now is it the smartest thing to do? Maybe not. But it's how we do things. I'm one S this short, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I'm kinda excited for the quality build. As he says as he takes damage. Alright, good to go. You can pretty much use any weapon in the game. Like you don't really cast spells, but most of the time casting a lot of spells. Like, I don't think Dark Souls is really designed for that. Like when I say I play Pyromancer, like it's usually decks, Uchi Gitana things instead of fireballs. The fireballs are back up, and I think that's the way that Dark Souls is more designed. Like setting back and shooting soul arrows. Like I don't know. I haven't really done it, but it doesn't seem very fun when the combat is as good as it is in Dark Souls. Why I avoid the combat? I think the melee combat's good, but I said it's kind of whatever, right? Also, this time we will not be cheesing with the Drake Sword. Friends. Although, from maybe I need to. Good lord, I'm playing bad today. Alright, you come up here and kill this homeboy. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's actually a good guy. And what do you got for me? That's supposed to be a good thing, right? I don't know. I just work here. Anyways, go kill these spearmen. I still want the hollow soldier shield because it's a good blocky shield. But if we don't get it, I guess it'll be okay. Okay, a little late on my part. Man has been vanquished. 
What do I say? What did I say, boys? Right there it is. The time we don't really need to use it. Probably should just keep using my grass crash shield for the time being. Little reason not to. Battle axe. I don't like the battle axe. Maybe some people do, but I do not. All right. So what we're going to do is buy a bottomless box and actually use it this time. Do I need the resonance key? Like this opens up the uh, caster dude, right? Because I don't think the master key actually does. Let's buy a few of these and just to have them in case we want to pull something, which I don't think we ever really will. Now, what I like to buy a resonance key. Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy the resonance key while we're here. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, whatever. Use it anyway. This is 600. Now it's 1,000. All right, we're good to go then. All right, please. I'm not 100% sure. Do I want the repair box? Can I just... That's 3,000. I think you can buy one from Andre, right? Um, might not actually need a repair box since I can use so many different items and stuff with this. Anyways, that's where we're at right now. Kind of hate to waste so many souls in the very beginning like that. But it's what we do. Alright. Now, true to my word, we are going to use this bottomless box this time. Because I will not be doing this stuff anytime soon. Keep the souls, don't keep the coin. I don't need that. Alright. Now, this stuff, we'll just keep all that. Who cares? This thing, never you... Oops. All right, move that, move that, keep that, move that. You see how many items you get that are so, will clog up your stuff so fast? I guess I'm probably need to keep No, I don't ever get to use that when I have a hollow soldier shield. All right. Good. Now, do I need to get rid of some of this armor? I guess I don't have any yet, really. I don't ever need to use leather armor. We already have the hard leather. Why would you go for the leather, boss? Anyways, all right. So that's the start of the new quality-ish Dark Souls playthrough. You know what we forgot to do? We're going to reverse hollowing because, you know, it's better than staring at beef jerky all day. Not that it's really going to serve a practical need for us, but she looks so much happier now, right? Not really, but you know. Anyways, uh, we'll see you uh, next time for the rest of the playthrough. Hope you enjoyed it.